Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so I thought I would go ahead and give you my two cents on this here HP gaming desktop. So we'll look at the website in a second. I uh, unboxed it, went over the features in that video, and now that I've had it a while, um, you know, my opinion really didn't change much. I did have Prior to this, I had the HP Gaming Desktop 690, which was an i5-9400F GTX 1660 Ti. Uh, bought it from somebody local, paid $500 for it back in the day, and honestly, it was, it was a pretty good deal, uh, I thought, at the time. Now, right now, that thing would be a hell of a deal, right? Um, trying to find a GTX 1660 Ti for less than, you know, 600 bucks, 650, good luck, right? So that obviously everything was brand new in it. Now, fast forward, you know, that was a different time, right? Graphics cards were easy to come by, cheap. You could get a GTX 1660 uh new, used, whatever for under $300, right? Now, good luck. Um, there are occasionally deals on sites like uh, Zotaxstore.com where you could find a GTX 1660 Super for 450 But if you were to check eBay's prices, Amazon, it's more like, you know, 550 650 whatever, right? So now that leads to the best part of this whole desktop. How much should I pay for it? Let's pause this a second. I did not get it as good a deal as it's shown right now. Uh, what did I just do? So let's let's just talk about this. This is built to order, basically custom to order. I forgot what CTO stands for. Somewhere on here, you'll you'll probably see it uh, configured to order. Yeah, I think that's what it stands for. So things that I would do differently, I would have got the. 5600G if I had an extra 100 bucks lying around at the time. Definitely a better processor than the 5300G. Now, is it going to be that much, that good gaming on its own? Ah, it's questionable. Now, for those of you that do CPU mining, you'll make a little bit more money because the L3 cache is greater. Uh, it's double, right? Not much difference between these two, so that aspect won't matter. But, you know, performance, computing, uh, if you use this computer for other things, you know, number crunching, the Ryzen 5 is going to be a lot better than the Ryzen 3, right? But it's still pretty darn good. I have not compared yet how it compares to the Ryzen, or excuse me, the Intel 12th Gen i5 12600K as far as integrated graphics go. I believe the 5300G is better uh, from that aspect, but if you pair either one of them with a graphics card, the i5 12600K blows it completely out of the water. Uh, would blow all three of these out of the water for that matter. All right, so um, we're talking what price did I pay? So I got that CPU. I did buy it with this RAM, even though you'll see somewhere on the channel that I upgraded it um, later on and made it a 16 gig model did not upgrade this solid state i didn't feel like you know 40 dollars you can buy a brand new 512 uh, even though it doesn't have all the all the hp software and everything on it but um i i could work around that right this is the only place on here that the one of the only places the upgrades aren't too bad So, didn't buy hard drive. Graphics cards. Now, the base is 5500 right? And right now, even, that's not a bad price. 5500 gaming machine. Um, however, there's a huge difference between the 1660 Super and the 5500 4 gig. So, this, this is basically what I paid for an upgrade, right? $90. And I found that it was well worth it. Um, didn't need to upgrade the power supply, even though if you went to an RTX 3060 or something else, RTX 2060 and some of the models, 
you'll have to pay for an upgraded power supply. So there's what this costs right now. I paid $689. And honestly, pretty darn good deal. Um, try and buy one of these 5300Gs on eBay. They're going for, you know, over $200. And like I said, with the price of the graphics card, it at least... Um, the cheapest you're going to find 450 plus shipping. So talking 480, you know, in a lot of places, most places, if you had to buy it right now, you'd probably have to spend a lot more money, right? Let's go ahead and just check Zotac store. Got the wrong keyboard, of course. I got so many keyboards on this desk. All right. So this is the place that you can go to a lot of times and get a better deal. All this stuff sold out. This is the one I'm talking about, $469. They'll charge you about $31 to ship it, so it'll come in at $500. Sometimes you can find an RTX 3060 on here. Not today, though. Um, I think they're, they're done for the year at Zotac anyways. Now, this is a smaller model. Um... But uh, yeah, that's that is you know basically the cheapest you're gonna find a brand new, our GTX 1660 Super if you were trying to build this yourself, right? So five hundred dollars there basically, right? At least two hundred here. These there was a really good deal on uh, I think it was Amazon two oh nine or maybe it was eBay two oh nine. You could buy one of these now. They're almost three hundred dollars again, right? So you're Close to, uh, you're between $700 and $800 now just to build this yourself, right? Windows license, $100 usually, right? So, boom. This cheap RAM, you know, big deal. Um, now, if you're building this yourself, of course, things you're not going to see on here, you got to buy a motherboard. You have to buy a case, right? Power supply. So, all that stat stuff adds up. Now, this was a B550, so you can find a cheap B550 in the $80 range, I believe. RAM, you know, $25 for one stick of 8 gig, uh, $30 for a 2x8, $50 for uh 2x8, right? So this, this price here is, is really expensive. Now, this is 3200 megahertz base speed. It's not the overclock speed, okay? So... You, if you're building this yourself, you would probably buy RAM that has a base speed. It's going to end up having a base speed of 2133, 2400, 2666, um, somewhere in there, right? So then you will overclock it in your BIOS, get it up to 3200, maybe even higher. This RAM, you can't overclock. It's fixed to 3200. All right. In case you guys haven't been paying attention there's all kinds of different versions of RAM. They've increased the speeds, uh, the base speeds, and this is one of them. So it is, uh, you know, a bit pricey. Now, things we didn't talk about. So motherboard, yeah, $80 there. Power supply, good power supply. Um, you know, $40 to $80, depending on what you, how many watts you need. And then the solid state drive. You could get this solid state drive for $30. Uh, for $40, though, you can get one that's double the size, right? For $80, you can get one terabyte. Honestly, so we're talking review here. Let's just talk about things that I think are good. Boom, operating system, right? That is always a nice feature. We got that for that price. That's nice. Processor, like I said, not the best one on here, obviously. I would upgrade it if I had, had more money um, at the time. Because I do believe this this one is probably a good solid uh, CPU for just about everybody's needs. 5300 is a little weak. But, uh, you know, still decent. Still a gamer, right? All three of these you can game on. It's just these are better. RAM. The RAM sucks. The price to upgrade sucks. Uh, my opinion, all computers should come with at least, you know, 16 gigs. If there was a way to do 2 by 6 um, you know, 12 gigs, in my opinion, is is really the ideal number, not 16. But the fact that you don't see six gig sticks of RAM that you can buy 
it's 4, 8, 16, 32, right? So that is, uh, you know, just what it is, right? So upgrade price, I don't care for it. Um, you know, wouldn't bother with their warranty. Even though for what I'm doing with this computer, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Don't need no tech support. Um, storage. So, you know, this this is such a dinky hard drive, folks, or solid state. A lot of you that aren't very computer literate, you may just want to spend the money and go ahead and get bigger, right? Um, this, you know, hard drives, this is just for storage. Um, moving parts means they're more likely to fail than something, you know, that doesn't have moving parts. That's my opinion, right? The more parts you have that move, the more likely there is some to have something fail. Not that a hard drive has that many parts that move, but um, I have a lot of hard drives that have failed. Solid state drives, I don't really have any that have failed. So um, now, so more storage would be better. You can buy this stuff after the fact, right? You can easily get in the case. They didn't put a seal on it which was nice. So you could upgrade your storage later. Graphics card. Now, like I said, I got the 1660 Super. Some of you would be happy with this stuff, right? If you're buying this for a young, youngster, you know, 12-year-old, 14-year-old, hey, they probably don't need more than this. If it's your 17, 18-year-old, 20, 21-year-old, you at least get them this, all right? Um, no way to upgrade the power supply, which is kind of a disappointment because then later on you go, well, prices of graphics cards have dropped significantly because eventually maybe crypto will tank. Uh, who knows? But maybe one day you will be able to get a graphics card at a decent price and you'll want to upgrade. And guess what? You need a really dinky ass card to fit in this thing. Uh, it does have a eight pin PCIe. Uh, power connector in it. However, um, it's hard, you know, I think it comes in from the back, right? Not from the top, comes in from the back. You're not going to find too many graphics cards that attach like that. Then, you know, the depth of it, there's not a lot of circulation in there, so you don't want a ridiculously big graphics card in there. So very limited as far as your upgrades go. I can't remember, honestly, if this is a uh, gold power supply, bronze, white, whatever, but, uh, you know, it's it's adequate, I guess, for, for this. No additional software, didn't buy Office, none of this other stuff, right? So that is, that's this thing, okay? Now, there are some other computers that you could look at that may be better deals or not right none of these actually are better deals this is the best deal available folks um let's click on this and see this has got i think the 4000 series in it or not let's see 624 so, seventy more dollars, you get a. Oh no! Wait a second. Over their base price, which was five forty nine, eighty more dollars, you get the forty six hundred G, which is a little better, but it's not a fifty six hundred G. Same crap RAM. Same dinky solid state. Now, here is a nice thing, folks. Um, you could get the 1660 Super. And look, oh, they only charge you 70 more dollars to upgrade, right? 694. This would be slightly better than the 5300G, I believe. Now, if you really want to make it better, RTX 2060 Super. Got to upgrade your power supply. They always get you with a little extra. They were going to put three, a 310 watt power supply in there with your 1660. Um, that's terrible. 
So eight ninety nine, you could get this. Now, how much is an RTX twenty sixty super going for these days? Oh my God, folks. Um, let's let's look. Okay, there's much crap that I bought. Um. Wrong keyboard again. Let's see. RTX 2060 Super. Now I'm thinking buy it brand new. And this one that's available at New Egg is not available. You click on it. Never. Oh, me. It's never available. I would love to get that for that price. Even though I already have one, but um, still. 700. So these have gone up. God, for a while you could get them 600, 650. <laughs> uh, yeah. You see how this is almost the price of the computer, right? It's kind of ridiculous. Now, what else do you get for all this? You know, you also get. Like I said, the Windows license. You also get a keyboard and mouse. You get a case. So that is that's a heck of a deal. Now this is this is if you got more money to spend, right? All right. So going back to I don't even know which video it is. So much crap open up top. Okay. This is just going on and on, folks. Oh, my God. All right. So, the features of this thing, um, you know, card reader, right? Let's... See if I can pause that. USB Type C in the front. All of these are USB 3.0s, which is nice. The power button is hard to uh, find. In the back, two more, two USB 2.0s, HDMI. Now, you'll see, um, I've covered this time and time again, and the big boys eventually covered it too. But, you know, is it worth buying one of these computers just for the graphics card? Um, you can almost see that it is, right? People are buying these and parting them out. They're keeping the graphics card and selling the, the computer um, $329.99 all the way up to, you know, $500 without the graphics card, right? Are they getting $500? Probably not. Are they getting $329? I bet they are, okay? So, yeah, not not bad. Um I would say, you know, it's not a bad deal. Right now, this thing could go up in value too. That's one other thing to think about. Like, these graphics cards keep going up. You just bought yourself a, you know, an investment. Um, yeah. And then you go, well, should I bought the RTX 2060 Super? I did not realize how blurry this footage is, folks. This is horrible. It says it's 1440p. Let's switch to 4K. That well, looks a little better. Still kind of blurry. Man. I got to get better equipment. There's a graphics card. Okay, so we got this thing open. Um, you know, over to the right here, we've got this cage. This thing... You can pop these things out of here. Um, makes it easier to get in here. It's kind of a pain in the ass, so. If I remember correctly, this is what's gonna hold up your hard drive if you put one in. You'll need to, uh, of course, have screws, though, um, to do it. But uh, if I remember correctly, it comes with one SATA. Uh, you may have to get the SATA cables, but over here you can see where the SATAs are in the motherboard. And so it may it may support two drives, which is which is nice, you know, if you need extra drives. 
Um, hard to work on, you know. Now you could take completely take this out of here, and then you wouldn't have a DVD player. But then you can fit in, um, you know, you can fit in a longer graphics card, or you can take this out, put the card in, and um, you know, put it back on. But you have to be careful here. And like I said, this thing comes in from the the back end. So instead of making this thing, you know, half inch, one inch taller. Um, or making a 90 degree angle on this thing. They've just made it difficult. So nice thing when you open up the cover, you can change out the RAM, you could change out the CPU. Very easy. Change the CPU out. This is a cheap, you know, CPU cooler. Um, easy to change out. And that's about it, folks. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. I hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my videos. Thank you.